Hi, my name is Miss Lynn, and I'm going to share a story with you today. At the end of the story, there will be some questions. You'll know the questions are coming when they start with, I wonder. These questions are the kind where there's no right or wrong answer. You might hear a question and just know what the answer is. There might be another question that you have many answers to, and there might be a question that you don't have any answers to at all. Or maybe you don't even understand the question. And all of that is okay. You can just say as many or as few answers as you have. If you're watching with someone else, you might even have different answers than the other person has, and that's okay too. So, let's get ourselves ready to enter the story. On the first day of knowing Jesus in a new way, the women went to the tomb. There were three Marys, among others. Mary Magdalene seemed to lead the way, and there was Mary, the mother of James, and Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mary Magdalene was not a mother. She was a good friend. They carried spices with them to finish the burial and wondered how they would get inside. When they came to the tomb, the stone had been rolled away. So they looked in. What they saw was nothing, nothing but the white linen cloth that had covered his body. They went back to tell the others, but most did not believe them. Peter, being Peter, jumped up and ran to the tomb some say John ran too and got there first. He waited for Peter and they went in together. They could feel his presence in the absence, but Jesus was gone, truly gone. Mary Magdalene came up and stood outside, weeping. Peter and John went back, but Mary stayed. Woman, why are you weeping? Through her tears, she saw two men dressed in white. Jesus has gone on. Tell the disciples to meet him in Galilee. Woman, why are you weeping? Another voice asked. She turned and saw someone who must have been the gardener. Tell me where they have taken him. I will go and take him away. Mary. This time he said her name and she knew it was he. Mary must have stepped forward because Jesus said, no, you cannot hold me. I have risen, but not yet ascended. And then he was gone. Mary went back to tell the others. On the second Sunday in the season of Easter, we remember how in the afternoon of the first Easter, two of Jesus's followers made their way slowly toward Emmaus, some seven miles from Jerusalem. They may have been shaking their heads in wonder as they walked and talked of what had happened, the cross, the empty tomb. What did it all mean? A stranger joined them. They didn't really pay much attention until he asked, what are you talking about? Are you the only one in Jerusalem who has not heard what has taken place these last three days? What happened? The cross, the empty tomb, there has been so much. You are foolish and slow of heart. Listen. He opened the scriptures to them. Do you remember how we were trapped in Egypt and Moses led us out through the water into freedom? 
Do you remember how we were trapped in our freedom in the desert and God gave Moses the Ten Commandments to guide us? Do you remember how we were trapped in exile and the prophet said a child would lead us and that someone would come to suffer and die so we might really be alive? By this time, they were in the village of Emmaus. The miles had passed quickly as the stranger talked. He was about to go on when the two asked him to stay, and he did. When they sat at supper in the inn, the stranger took a piece of bread. He gave thanks to God and broke it. He then shared it with the two. That was when they knew who he was. But in that moment, he was gone. They sat at the table for some time, talking. Now they knew why their hearts had burned within as they walked with him on the road. They got up slowly and hurried back to Jerusalem to tell the rest that he had been made known to them in the breaking of the bread.